Hey guys, I'm Dakota and welcome back to my channel. So, a thing I noticed a lot um, after I post my first spray painting video is a lot of you were asking me how I do it, what technique I use, and so in today's video I'm going to explain a little bit more of how I do the things I do with spray paint and how I make my planets. And so we're just going to test out the waters and I'll show you guys a little more detail. So I always just start out with a base coat of black because, you know, outer space is, as they say, dark. Um, haven't been up there, but I imagine it would be dark, so we'll start with black. Alright guys, this is a quick little tip if you're impatient like me. Um, all it takes is a can of spray paint and a lighter, and you could uh, dry your paint nice and quick, and you just blow it out, and now it's all dry. Okay, now this is the part where I take my stencils, like I have two round stencils that I use, and I just decide the basic outlay of the planets that I want. So for this one, I'm gonna do one a little bit more in the center this time. And then I also like to use just a cap from a spray paint can uh, to choose for a smaller planet. And then I have another cutout that I use for another different size planet. And so this is gonna be my basic outline of where I want these planets to go. So then I usually just take my white, do a little spray, and that just shows me where the planets will be, gives me a little outline. So this is the part where I usually pick what color I'm gonna do the planet. For this first one, I'm gonna do this red. And so I start out by doing... <laughs> so I start out by doing a base coat of the color, just in a nice little pattern. I don't do anything too heavy, too light, and then I decide where I want the light source to be, so I'm going to do it up in the front, and then I take a black, spray it in the back where it's going to be a little darker, do more red over the entire top, and then a layer of white over the entire top, and then you take your crumpled up magazine paper, you lay it down, smooth it out over the top, pull it up, and that's how you get your basic planet. It doesn't have to be anything too pretty, nothing too ugly. It's gonna all look the same in the end. Now for my second planet color, I'm gonna do blue and a little bit of green with this one, just to make it, you know, a little something different. So I'm gonna start out, do my base color, do my secondary color, and then do my light source again. I want them to be kind of in the same place on both, just so it looks like they have a similar light source. Do a little darker in the back. Do my base color again. Wait, wrong one. There we go. And then do my green again. Cover the whole thing in white. Take out your magazine page. Crumple it up, and then you're going to do the same thing again, just lay it flat, smooth it out, pull it up, flip it, smooth it out, pull it up, and there we go with our second planet. Now we're going to do our third planet, which I'm going to do a little bit of this pink color and a little bit of the blue with it. So we're going to do spray base, do a little bit of our blue. Do a little black, and then our white, and then for this one, since it's a smaller planet, you don't have to do a second layer of everything. Rip your magazine page, jump it up, and then continue laying and pulling. There we go. Now you're going to choose the best spot you want of the painting to be the planet. I really like over here on this corner, so I'm going to try to get that area really nice. Choose my second one. I like down here a little better. So right there. Take my cap. I like the middle part right there. And then now you're going to take your black and you're just going to spray back over everything. Just get rid of all the colors and all the white that you sprayed on before.
And then now for this next part, we're gonna make some more of the stars. And for this part, you're gonna to wanna to leave these stencils on just so you don't get too muddy over your planets with the white. And all you gotta do for this is you take your white spray paint, take two fingers, spray it, and flick. And it ends up looking really nice. On this part, I'd say less is more. You don't wanna to do too many or else it just looks a little chaotic. And then what I like to do is <clears throat> I take part of a cardboard box. Uh, this is part of a Cheez-It box, not sponsored, but if they want to pay me, go for it. Um, and you just fold it like I have it folded right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold it at a fold and then you're going to spray right in the center right here. You're not going to spray in the corner, but you're going to spray so it mists and you can make some asteroid shapes. And so you're just going to take your white, you're going to hold it like that, and you're gonna just spray up in the top. Okay, so you're just gonna take this, set it down, spray up it near the top, and there's one. And you just do this. You don't want it to be like too much in a pattern or else it doesn't look natural, because we all know that Mother Nature is natural in what she does. All right, I think I like it just like that, nothing too complex, so there we go. And now we have our reveal, so we're just going to remove these very gently. There's one. It's a little sticky, but there's number two. And for our last one, there we go. Simple as that. And then what I like to do at the very end is I just take a little bit of white, decide where I want the light source to be, and then I take my magazine, or in this case, I'll take my part of my Cheez-It box, not sponsored, would love to be. Uh, cheese it, please sponsor me. For this part, when I make the light source, I keep a flat edge, I angle it, and then I spray up here. I don't want to spray down at the bottom, so it just has the misting effect again, just like that. And then once you get that, you just spray a little dot right in the center, and then you have part of a star. All right, guys, you see it here. We are all done with this video. So that's just a little, little technique I do to get my spray painted planets. All right, guys, so if you have any other questions or you have any recommendations of things you want me to do or you want to see, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comment section. I love to see what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for the support you've been giving me. Um, I can't believe we've made it this far with my channel so far, and I really appreciate all of you. Please keep sharing these videos, liking them and watching them. Thank you guys for the 110 subscribers. Uh, I want to hit the goal of 200 this month of February. Uh, thank you so much for everything, and I will see you guys in the next video.